Hello everyone. Um, as you can see, my name is Wheeler, but from now on, my name is Brandon. <laughs> That's my first name. In the military, we often call people by their last name, because your first name is Army. Well, that's been thrown off by the camera. But as of today, that is no longer the case. I enlisted back in September 2020 after two years of trying to lose enough weight to join the Army. And I did that. And now, three years later, my time is up. Active duty, that is. Um, I'm going to be IR, you know, inactive reserve to like at least 2028, but I still technically have a couple months. It's just ETS leave, you know, started. It's just, um, this is the final time I'm wearing this uniform. So um, I want to at least capture video with it. This was a um, dream come true, you could say, because I, because uh, the influence of my dad and everything, I, you know, watching war movies and my dad's stories, my dad telling the Vietnam vet and a long history with military stuff and family and Despite all that, it's something I knew I always wanted to do. And I wanted to join out of high school, but I was over 240 pounds, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Either that or go to school for filmmaking. Didn't end up doing anything. Went to the workforce. But um, I had regret not joining after you know, many years, and then you know, 17 or so, I... 2018, I got that thing in the mail saying like, another, I could go through the whole story, but I got another shot to, you know, from the Lord, I kind of said like, I could try it again. And it took two years, but I joined. Became 88 Mike. I originally wanted to be like a, uh, either a chaplain assistant or a 68 whiskey, like a medical thing, but that wasn't available at the time. I was like, okay, that's fine. At least I got it. I know I could have uh, signed up again or whatever, which I, part of me really wanted to, but death, since that heat stroke thing, whatever happened to me in 2022 in July here in Texas, and then again when I was overseas in Europe, I just, I just knew I had a sense like my time's up. And I can't force, you know, trying to stay in longer when I know it's time to go. But, so, I, I know it didn't kind of all end the way I uh, wanted to. But, you know, I got to travel, see a lot of things, do a lot of things that I never would have done before. And I got to serve. Big thing is, for me, I accomplished something. And I'm proud of myself, which is something I don't normally say. I got to accomplish a dream, you know? Now this one's over, and unless I get reactivated, <laughs> but um, I get to move on to other things like, you know, book writing, which I have a book hopefully I'll say and I'll tell you about later and everything else, but now I move on to other things. But I, um, at least want to say thank you to, you know, the Army. Thank you to all the drill sergeants I had at Fort Jackson, AIT in Missouri, at Leonard Wood. My 580th unit, the people I had in Korea, Camp Casey, and here at Hood, Cavazos, with JFSC. 1-5 Cav. <laughs> Camera always messes me up. But um, I thank you for joining me and having me during this time and supporting me throughout all of this and all that. 
and I hope to do better in the future, <laughs> whether, whether are future endeavors I do. It was a dream come true, and I'm glad I got to do it. So this is the final time I'm wearing this uniform. Thank you.